Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to chop scallions, also known as green onions. I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can prepare them for either soup, salad, stir fries, whatever you're cooking. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do after you wash the green onions is remove any damaged leaves. So we're just gonna pull those off. And then what I like to do is just take about an inch or two off the top. Now we're gonna trim off the roots. Okay, now our green onion is ready to prep. So this first chop, we're gonna do just for garnishes. This is like salads, soups, nothing that you're really gonna cook. You can use both the green or the white part of the green onion, but you wanna chop it at about like one eighth of an inch. So a pretty thinly sliced green onion. Just like that. So like I said, this is perfect for garnishing, no cooking. Now, if you're gonna be actually cooking the scallion, then you wanna do a heavier cut. The reason for that is you want it to have a little bit of density so it can stand up to the heat. So I typically do about a half inch to an inch cut for that. If you wanna get fancy, you can actually do a bias cut and do that at about like a 45 degree angle, which just is, you know, a nice look. So this next cut that we're gonna do is a julienne cut. And this is great as a garnish because you're cutting really thin slices, it's almost like straw. So you don't wanna cook it. It looks pretty though, you can kind of build like a sort of bird nest type garnish on whatever it is that you're serving. So I typically cut about inch to two inch slices with that. So the first thing we're gonna do after cutting the scallion is we're gonna cut it lengthwise so we actually can lay it flat to julienne it. So just go ahead and take the scallion and cut it lengthwise. And then open it up. What we wanna do is take the cut side and lay that down, just for safety reasons. So it'll be a lot easier to julienne that way. And then just thinly slice off the sides. So. You get these little matchstick-like pieces that are perfect as a garnish. So that's how you julienne a green onion. So there you have it. So that's how you prepare scallions for garnishing, cooking in stir fry, like I said. So if you are doing a really thin cut like the julienne or the 1 8 inch cut that I showed you in the beginning, you don't wanna use that in cooking at all. You wanna just use that as garnish. Now you can use it in like a soup garnish where there's some heat, but you just don't wanna cook with it. If you wanna cook, do that stir fry type thing, then you wanna do a like inch, half inch type cut that can handle the heat. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to cook like I do, hey, subscribe. I release new videos every week.